Hey, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Ever wanted to create radio imaging effects using just this, just your mouth and your, your voice? You can. Here's how. So here we are recording in Adobe Audition. I'm going to grab my microphone, make some silly sound effects. Okay, enough silliness for one day. There is some audio. Let's have a listen. Now, it sounds pretty much just like me uh, playing with my voice at the moment. It doesn't really sound like uh, anything you could use in audio production. But don't worry, we'll soon fix that in the multi-track of Adobe Audition. First of all, I'm going to take all of those sound effects that I created and I'm going to layer them together on different tracks in the multi-track. So here they all are. Now, let's see how they sound like when I place them all together. Just trim that one up. All right, that should be good. Still really... Sounds like me, doesn't it? Okay, but what I can do now is select them all, time stretch a bit. And already we're starting to get a slightly different sound. Then I might go over and pan some of these from left to right to give a nice stereo sound. How's that sounding to you now? Sounding good? Okay, let's mix down what we have so far to a brand new file. And as you can see, it's distorting a bit, so I'm gonna turn it down. Working in 32-bit means we have a lot of headroom and we don't usually tend to distort. <laughs> sounding pretty nice. Let's start a new multi-track session. FX Final, I'll call it. And I will drag in that mix down now. Now I'm gonna add some effects that Adobe Audition has, so some brilliant effects. Let's add some chorus. Nice, let's go for some reverb. That always helps, bit of studio reverb going for the great hall. And we might make it a little more wet than dry. Okay, and finally we're gonna go on and uh, EQ it up as well. So let's go to the filter and EQ. Uh, let's go for the parametric equalizer and Maybe add on some bass, take off some treble. Okay, as you can hear, I've EQ'd it up now already. Is that sounding like my voice anymore? That could legitimately be an imaging effect. Let's, let's go back and, uh, and mix it down and hear how it sounds. Very nice indeed. And there's so much more we can do with this uh, to make it even more authentic. Like we could go into effects, we could go to special, master it. Uh, one of my favorite presets is subtle clarity. That's good. So let's take the mastering off. And of course, uh, we could use some amplitude and compression. We could use the dynamics processing or even the multiband compressor if we're feeling brave and go for something like pop master. And we could mess about with the different bands. So we're really enhancing the bass there. Okay, let's apply that. And now we have a bassy imaging effect uh, that you can almost tell is not my voice. What do you think? What's the best sound effect you could make with your voice, but then mask it in Adobe Audition so that people don't really know it's your voice? Let me know in the comments to this video. Oh, 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 oh,